Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bharti Puri this side and today in this video, I will be reviewing the new Nika foundation. So I have the new Nika foundation and it's been like hard to decide which shade to pick for myself online. Uh, I hate, I really really hate trying to guess my shade online. I really hate that. But you know, Nika was having some kind of a discount when they launched it on their first day. So I quickly, I was like trying to keep on searching for my shade, uh, loads of makeup influencers in India, they launched the swatches and all, but I still couldn't make out and even on their website, I couldn't understand their shades because it was very weirdly placed in the sense they used the shade on the actual model, the girls who were modeling the foundation but at the same time their background was also slightly different you know they used some kind of a nude shade background for the photo so in the end it was very confu confusing to decide so I decided not to buy it on that first day so later on I was waiting for the right swatches and I finally found uh, Shalini she posted a proper swatch video so I could really make out she has done it very well showing the sh proper shades on her she swatched it on her cheek so i really like that and i finally managed to decide on a shade and i went for this particular shade it's called rose beige so i managed to get rose beige for myself and i feel like it's going to be a close match let's see i haven't tried it on yet so basically what i'm going to uh, do in this video is i'm going to apply this foundation i'm going to try it out for the first time and then i'm going to just keep on recording my uh, updates i'm going to keep on updating you guys uh, after a few hours you know just to see how the foundation performs because i feel in the end this is the right way to review a foundation you know So I've already applied primer. I don't skip my primer. For me, primer is very important in order to test out any kind of foundation for myself. Yeah, because that way primer really, really helps in order for any kind of base to last longer the whole day. For this foundation, I will be using a wet beauty sponge. This is by Yshe brand. Uh, I'll put the links of all the details down below that you can check it out. It smells slightly like herbal, kind of slightly uh, very tiny bit scent, it's not too strong. So as you can see, this is the first application, first layer of the foundation. It gives a medium uh, coverage, like a nice good medium coverage. And if you want full coverage, I'm going to now apply second layer of this foundation. So I feel the foundation is, uh, it gives a nice coverage, that's for sure. And it feels lightweight on the skin. So I like that so far. And as you can see, the shine, it's semi-matte. It's not very matte and it gives a dewy kind of a look. So in case you don't like a dewy look finish, you can just powder it up to set it matte. Hmm, it's not bad. I like it so far. So far I'm liking how it feels on my skin. And now I'm going to apply some concealer, do my eyebrows and some mascara. I'm, I'm in a hurry, I have to go. So it's just going to be like a quick mascara kind of a lipstick uh, makeup go-to look so yeah and then I'm gonna set it up with powder so and then I'll right away come back once my makeup is done so guys this is how my makeup looks right now so what I'm going to do uh, right now it's let me just check the time it's 1 30 so right now it's 1 30 and this is how my foundation looks I have not applied blush but I've applied highlighter you know basic mascara it's like a very basic uh, makeup and it's more focused on the base so far it looks nice so now i'm going to get an auto and auto mall mall auto back home 
so let's see i'll take my camera along with me just to give an update how the foundation forms So basically I've been wearing this foundation since 1.30 p.m. today and now it's 9 p.m. So almost like 8 hours or so I've been wearing this foundation and I only needed to powder my T-zone like any like it got oily around the nose, the forehead and the chin a lot and around here as well. So I just quickly powdered my nose and now it's again back to looking all matte. Overall I feel it performs really well because uh, basically i went out took an auto then i went all the way to the mall and then from the mall again auto back home and you know with auto it's like there's pollution everywhere like especially the traffic when you're stuck in a red light you know like when you're stuck there in traffic just waiting for the red light to go green and you're sitting inside the auto and it's like you are being blown with like pollution of the fuels of the cars left right and center all over from both sides of the auto so that was i feel this was like a perfect you know thing to try out you know when going in an auto just to see how it well it performs other than that you know then uh, i went to the mall so mall is like an ac environment and then i went back home uh home it's like i did not switch on the ac so you have to really when it comes to foundation and base makeup, it really matters if you're going to an office or college, library or the mall or anywhere. As long as like if there's an AC around, it's going to perform, this foundation especially is going to perform really well in an AC kind of environment. I cannot really promise regarding a non-AC environment, you know, if it's like super sunny, then like god be with you you know like best of luck then other than that this foundation really performed well and it says here it's anti-pollution deep hydration oil control action that's what it promises uh, oil control wise basically it performed really well i just needed to only powder my t-zone uh, only once today so that way it performed well it feels lightweight on the face that's for sure uh, anti-pollution when I'm thinking about anti-pollution basically I'm thinking about there should be some kind of SPF there's no SPF here when you are promoting a product which says anti-pollution I'm thinking about sun protection So now when it comes to the packaging, it comes in a cardboard box every time you buy this foundation and the foundation comes in a tube form so that means it's very hygienic and travel friendly as well. Uh, other than that, you don't have to be worried about like dropping this by accident and breaking the foundation because the whole uh, it's made out of plastic, the tube. Uh, so it's like not breakable easily so that way it's good so now I'm going to click a photo of myself with the flash just to see if there's any flashback with this foundation so this is how it looks there is a little bit of flashback you can see my face is looking slightly whiter but other than that, if you look way closely, the foundation looks nice. But you can see the difference between my neck uh, and my face. So that way there is some kind of a flashback for sure. So overall, I highly give this foundation a thumbs up from my side. The only negative points would be that it has flashback and the price point. I feel 800 rupees for foundation is kind of a lot. And it has major flashback. So in case you are planning to go for an event or a function where there's going to be flash photography, make sure you apply the foundation like all over your neck as well so that it blends well. So you don't end up looking like a ghost. But I would just suggest to like, 
avoid this foundation for flashback photography this foundation is not recommended for that so if you're an air hostess you know because air hostess needs to wear makeup every day for their job or any other department where you need to wear makeup all the time i feel this is really good this particular foundation it says anti-pollution so i hope the anti-pollution really works out because i don't know how to test how much anti-pollution this foundation would be but other than that i hope you like this review video please continue watching in case you are interested to participate in the giveaway in this video yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time take care you guys hey guys thank you so much for reaching this far to this video so i just wanted to thank you all so far for just you know being there for me and subscribing to my video and commenting regularly i really really like that when you guys do that so in this video i wanted to give away this baby right here isn't this the cutest so this is a hello kitty tin and don't worry it's not just the tin i'm giving away so it is a set of makeup brushes as well inside it's a travel size so it has like mini brushes and it's packed very nicely as well so this is how the hello kitty brush set looks like it's all packed not used so one lucky winner is going to win this travel size hello kitty brush set so you have the foundation flat foundation brush some eyeshadow brushes you can even use some of these brushes for applying a lipstick as well for a good defined lip and then there's the powder brush so it's like a very nice basic set of beginner friendly uh, brush set so for if you're a make beginner makeup person then this brush set would be really great for you all so yeah i just wanted to give my thank you to you all and one lucky winner is going to win this i will pick the winner randomly just these are the simple rules you need to follow you must be a subscriber of my youtube channel so make sure when you subscribe to my youtube channel that you click on the bell icon as well that's very important uh, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below anything related to this video like related to you know the nika and everything it's very simple so i hope you like this video and yeah take care you guys i'll see you guys next time